Okay, this is video of uh, dry running it. Getting it just uh, letting it run and kind of loosen up any you can hear a little squeak there but that's much less than when it started the winder is running or the tensioner I should say along with the winder I don't have that completed yet because I was waiting for bearings but I may go ahead and finish it up just with the uh, ABS bushings but I am dry running it I've uh, borrowed the uh, digital control LED screen from uh, Persia i3 printer it's exactly the same one I'm putting two printers together so I just borrowed one of them to uh, fire this up the one I ordered still hasn't arrived now the light blinks with the heater of course filament tester lit up ready to go it is hot, and I don't have any insulation on it yet, but you can definitely feel it's warm. Uh, screen says it's 185 degrees. So, once again, you can see the auger spinning. I have adjusted the, the drivers. Um, here's a look in the back. Uh, there's the power supply. Uh, up top, I have hanging the uh, solid state switch. You can see the backs of the switches. There is the ramp with the Arduino underneath it. I do have the, uh, what is it, uh, that's the high current for the extruder. Uh, yeah, it's the uh, 8825, that, that top one right there. I'm going to focus, Glenn. On, there we go. The top one is the 8825, and the bottom one is the, the original. Fans running. Got heating and uh, cooling on both. So, but that's dry running it. Put some film in it, or some ABS in it in a little bit, and dry. But, uh, the squeaking in here is just about totally gone now, so it's had a chance to loosen everything up. I turned the uh, little pots on the uh, motor drivers until the stepper motors quit turning and then advanced them until they started again. And that's where I left them. We'll see how that works long term. but. There we go, there's my Lyman 5.0, dry running, getting everything loosened up and ready to rock and roll. Okay, now here's the extruder running. Um, I ran a spool off it last night, and uh, you'll see it on the end there, and I just kind of piggyback this one over it, it's wrapping over it, but I did want to show a little video of it actually running. I ran that spool last night, it looks really sweet. Um, I uh very happy with the way it looks. Um, you can see the LED screen here. I do not have it installed, like I said earlier. I borrowed that out of a printer. I do have the fan installed now, the insulation around the head. You can see the uh, storage hopper. Um, I do have a Maker Gear printer. That's why the sticker's on there. Flu or however they just spell that, pronounce that. You can see here it's uh, set at 170, it's at 169, 173. It says it's going to take 15 minutes. That's because it's running 72 millimeters a second, or 0.73 millimeters a second. Uh, that's because the screen is partially plugged from running last night. When I started that run last night, it was doing 100 or 1.1 millimeter per second. And when it was finished up this morning, it was pushing uh, 0.69 millimeter a second so that screen is getting plugged um, can't emphasize enough how important it is to uh, put a screen in there I ran the first batch through my printer and plugged the nozzle something terrible uh, not a good thing 
here's a good close-up you can see 190 degrees 12 rpm it's a little heavy right now 184 it takes a little while to settle out I did just start this up for the video but uh, here is all the stuff I got out of one screen cleaning that was after running about two kilograms perhaps um, there is my spooler it's working really sweet for me uh, there's the extruder with all the uh, equipment, the insulation, the fan. Here if you look close you can see the two little holes. This is the stuff on the bottom is what's fallen out of the two little vent holes. Um, everything seems to be working really good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm going to run some parts this afternoon. I got one of the printers done. Um, I'm going to run some parts this afternoon see how well this uh, ABS Prime 555 from uh, Styron works. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Uh, here's a good picture of the inside of the electrical panel again. Um, hope this helps anybody who's building one, working on one, and uh, have a great day. Thanks.